the second story with the, what I'm about to mention is um, you know I've had a very blessed Tuesday uh, I know it's actually Wednesday now what I'm just saying and I believe this you do something for God and God will do something for you the other night I got rid of a Blu-ray DVD well a Blu-ray disc and you guys saw it I put it on um, YouTube on one of my previous vids what I did the other day and I really meant it I really believe that I was getting rid of this um, Blu-ray film for God you heard what I talked about what the um, Blu-ray disc had um, had on it, you know, the content, and um, I don't want to go into it now. But it was Sherlock Holmes, the new one, you know, what came out a few years ago. So I got rid of that. Choose, you know, fifty pounds was handed to me, and then later on, twenty pounds was added to me. That's seventy pounds. Unbelievable. You know, it's not a coincidence. You do something for God and God will do something for you. He will bless you. Right? Because that film was bothering me and I believe that God really was um, telling me all along to get rid of it. And some days I forgot to chuck it in bin. I believe that it's been hanging about like a magnet in my room. And there's something weird about that film, Sherlock Holmes. And because I believe this, because I got rid of something that wasn't godly, but was probably of the devil, I got rid of it and you saw what I did. I knifed the disc and then I snapped the disc in half. And I believe that God really has blessed me because of that. I mean, it just seems too much of a coincidence. Right. That's that. <sighs> So thank you God for blessing me. Thank you God for the money that I have received earlier on. Thank you Lord. Now, also, my dad is um, going to um, the doctor's tomorrow, well, later on actually, um, for a checkup because he's got a lump on his tongue. Now, he had a lump on his tongue before, although it was a bit different, um, but it hurts him. And um, last time it was cancerous and they had to cu cut it out. And my dad says, it worked. Agony. I mean, Dad does not want to go through that anymore. You know, my dad says it was absolutely agony. And then my dad says, oh, the nurse came up to me when my dad went in hospital to have it cut out or whatever. And they says to him, um, oh, we're going to cut off your tongue off. <laughs> my dad says, they laugh like that. And my dad thought, hmm, she's joking, isn't she? And they cut a right big piece off and put it in a glass or something. And all blood were everywhere. Why? Well, because it was cancerous. And obviously they had to get rid of it, but they did it in such a nasty way. We pray for my dad right now. Because he's got a good doctor's. And um, he's got a similar lump on his tongue. Like a brown lump. Like it's about, it's about, I'm going to point to it on my tongue to let you know where it is. So I want some prayer warriors to be watching this and to pray. 
I can't remember what side it's on there. But it's something like where I've just pointed. It's a brown lump. I've seen it for myself. It looks a bit strange. In Jesus' name, all things are possible. I come against that brown lump on me dad's tongue. I pray in the name of the Father. Through Jesus Christ, that my dad's tongue will be healed. God, you're a God of miracles. I pray that you will heal my dad's tongue, Lord. Heal it 100%. Heal me, Dad, Lord. And I pray, Lord, when my dad goes to the doctors tomorrow, it will be nothing. I pray that the lump will go or my dad won't have to go through what he went through last time. I mean, look, my dad's not well anyway, but if people could pray that, um, if people could pray about that,